and we have suffered in a way that is unprecedented. It's never been that churches have been closed, mosques have been closed, schools, and many other places. And it hasn't been fashionable not to go to work, but to stay at home. But that became our lot. But be that as it may, in fact, if uh, by the words of uh, there is a common Askari who is commanding a, a platoon somewhere in the social media, in our case, and that Askari says, Semeni Kimeumana, we would actually have said in the affirmative because things really became bad. Your Excellency, but because of your leadership, you stepped in and our country, the ship of our country was steadied. We've progressively managed to get ourselves up. The ministry has done a commendable job. And today we are discussing how we are going to vaccinate citizens so that we can get ourselves out of this pandemic and begin to manage the economic issues and all the other issues. But be that as it may, we've had also, even in the midst of this pandemic, we've had positive things. Courtesy of the, this administration, the president launched the other day the Lamo port, amongst many other projects that have been undertaken. We got ourselves a brand new Chief Justice, the first lady ever in Kenya to be Chief Justice. And also our speaker got an appointment with the elders. <laughs> and, and I think it serves him right. After being a speaker for so long, maybe it's time to be a spokesperson. So, so much has happened in that space. But I keep, as we re reflect on this day when we have come to pray, both those of us who are here and those of us who are elsewhere, two things come to my mind. In a meeting where most of us were, there are some two gentlemen who say two fundamental things. One was a bishop who asked us to try the Jerusalem dance instead of the other two that we had. So much happened, but as things stand today, the Tanga Tanga tours are not there, and the reggae has also stopped. I think we need to listen to what that bishop was telling us. We need to do something together. In that same meeting, the former prime minister also said something that was profound. In fact, in a very uncharacteristic manner, he gave us a verse and he told us about Isaiah 1.18 that says, come, let us reason together. Maybe again, God is speaking to us and saying, come, let us reason together. Finally, last night, as I was preparing, villagers came from the village, including some of my relatives, because uh, my daughter got a spouse. She works in foreign affairs, and so she got a foreigner to be a spouse. And so one of the gentlemen from the village was speaking to us 
and he said something again, though coming from the village, that is very profound. He was telling us about this wedding in the Bible that was in, a, in Canaan. Not, not the Canaan that we all know in Kenya, but there was a village called Canaan. Kana. And in this uh, wedding, among the people invited was Mary, mother of Jesus, uh, Jesus' mother, and Jesus himself, and others. And of course, in that whole thing, there was trouble, and there was shortage. Napia Kiliumana. But because Jesus was there, things were sorted out. And he was telling us that in whatever plan, in whatever agenda, in whatever mission, have God in the equation. And I think that is profoundly what, again, we are reminding ourselves this morning. With those many remarks, it's now my duty to request our president, His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, to come and make his remarks. Mr. President, sir. Santi Sana William, please be seated. Thank you very much. Honorable speakers, Honorable Chief Justice, all friends who have been invited, members of parliament, members of our private sector, our friends from abroad who have managed to come and join us today. I have very few words. First and foremost is to take this opportunity to thank our two co-conveners for managing to arrange this prayer session despite the difficulties we are all facing as a country as a result of this COVID pandemic. The prayers that have been said today are all prayers that are geared to giving us our hope back. And this is really where we all need to be at a time when we are confronted by the worst health pandemic the globe has seen in the last 100 years. And the realization that we need to pull together, to work together, and we need to have hope that it is indeed possible to overcome these challenges if we pull together. I have very little to add to what has been stated so far. I have, we've heard from the health experts, we've heard from our senior Amos Wako about the challenges that he has gone through as a result of this pandemic and the realization of a number of issues and other challenges that still face us as he talked about the fact that millions are probably unable to access the same standard and quality of health care that he was able to have and so today the only message I have to our two speakers to the leadership of both the Senate and the National Assembly. There are proposals before you, proposals that will ensure that every Kenyan is able to have access to health insurance because health insurance is the basis of us being able to offer universal health care. Please expedite the passage of these bits of legislation that will allow us to ensure that our people are properly catered for, not just 
during times of pandemic as we are, but always. And that is the purpose, access to quality health care. I want to thank our motivational speaker today. I don't think there is a word I would remove from what you have said. Mine is only to say, let it not be that we have heard today and tomorrow we have forgotten. Hope is a continuous process. Hope is something that you've got to get and put into your daily life. The things that he has told us, it's how we live every day that matters. Not what we listen to today and by tomorrow we are back to our normal. So I hope to those who are here, to those who have participated with us virtually, and to all the Kenyans who have had an opportunity to listen to our brother, Peter, on the sentiments that he has shared with us. Let us live that way, and we can indeed change Kenya. Because Kenya cannot be changed by any one single person. But us working together, we can, and I believe we shall make a difference. May God bless you all as you go about your duties, and may God bless this great country of Kenya. Asante Nisana. Okay. It's not usual to talk after His Excellency the President, but I just want to take this opportunity on behalf of Parliament, that is the National Assembly and the Senate, to thank all of you, Your Excellency the President, Deputy President, all leaders who came to pray with us. We must continue to thank God that as a country we are able to even meet and fellowship together. We don't take it for granted. I also want to recognize Professor Rongay and Sam Owen, and thank you for what you have done. As I conclude, His Excellency has said something, and other speakers have said, and I want to say, I said yesterday, that it's all about our attitude. You don't need a budget to change your attitude. You don't need money to change your attitude. You just need to change your attitude and take that this is our country. Let us all work for it because we have no other country. And when we go, people will remember us, not for how long we stayed, but what we did when we were alive. Thank you, and may God bless you. It's now my turn to call Dr. Isaac Kalua Green to give us our final prayer. Thank you, sir. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before you this afternoon, this morning, thanking you for your goodness and mercy. We thank you for the great things that you have done for our nation. We ask for forgiveness where we have sinned before you, Lord. We ask that your masses that are new every morning be renewed upon every Kenyan. Heavenly Father, we thank you as we come to you for our leaders. During the wedding in Kana, God of heaven, when things were thick, the mother of Jesus went ahead and requested that God help this situation bring wine lord god of heaven just like the mother did i come to you god of heaven on behalf of every woman in kenya that you bring peace to this nation that our president our deputy president the leaders of this nation that you have placed in high places at God of heaven, they will speak in one voice. Lord, let it happen out of this prayer that I'm praying from the bottom of my heart, that there will be peace, 
that you will help them to bounce back again, O oh God, to the great relationship that we have seen and enjoyed in this country. Father, please do it, and your name shall be glorified. We thank you, O oh God, for every business person, every environmentalist, every entrepreneur, everybody who is doing every effort to make a change in this nation. Institutions in KEPSA, Kenya Association of Manufacturers, every, every chamber of commerce, O oh God of heaven, I pray that you speak freshness that is going to help Kenyans to get employment opportunities. Heavenly Father, we pray that you plant seed of peace in our hearts, O oh God, so that where there is enmity, God of heaven, you will help us to bring peace. Where there is confusion, O oh God, there will be clear way that is guided by you. That God of heaven, you are going to help us, O oh God, to be the solution providers on every challenge that this nation does have. Father, we know that with you, we can grow and go mountains, O oh God, and over every valley. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Sam Owen. We thank you for his vision that has enabled us to have the national prayer breakfast. We pray that you bless him, even at the loss of his dear wife, O oh God, Lynn, that God, you continue to strengthen him. Bless every prayer group. Bless Professor Ronkei, O oh God of heaven, and everyone who matters in this country in every place that you have placed us. Father, we thank you for parliament and pray for the leadership. We pray for every security agent, O oh God. We pray for the judiciary, Heavenly Father, that God of heaven, you are going to do something extraordinary, something that has never been experienced in this country, out of this prayer that we are doing today with the head of state and the country listening to you. Father, help us. We pray for the church, O oh God of heaven, that God of heaven, something extraordinary is going to happen and they are going to have a clear moral compass one that is guided by your principles that we mind each other and we do to each other what you expect of us finally Lord, i pray because everyone has a prayer that they are making to you i personally pray that you will help us to conserve the environment in this country that not only 10 percent of forest cover we are looking for but 40% and above, because out of that there will be a lot of clean air, less diseases, environment that is kept and uh, beneficial to you. Help us, oh God, to have a country that is peaceful and our wildlife will add value to what we do. As I pray that, I know God, everyone has a prayer that they have, and I pray that you listen to them as you listen to me. Guide us and favor us today and every times of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray.